Yo, yo, how's it going? My name's Mike, and today you're watching the first video of Mike's Mighty Muscles. Now, about a week ago, I was stuck in a bit of a rut. Uh, I was eating shit, I was told I looked like a girl, uh, and I was pushed off jet skis. Uh, work wasn't exciting me, and overall, I just I wasn't that happy. I decided enough is enough. It's time to get my act together. So over the next 30 days, I will get focused, I will get driven, and I will get shredded by doing 2,000 reps every single day. So sit back, relax, and enjoy following my journey with me. Hey guys, so just before we get started, I just wanna say that this video is purely for entertainment and educational purposes only. Now, I can't even explain how happy I am that I've finally completed this challenge. This is actually my sixth attempt trying it. Just because I wasn't really happy with previous attempts, and I'd miss a day here, or I'll not do the reps on this day, and. I can finally say that I've done 2,000 reps every single day for 30 days. So it's more of a relief, in fact, that now I don't have to do it again. So for my routine, I had to break up the 2,000 reps. Obviously, I couldn't do them all in one go. So in my first week, I did 10 rounds of 200 reps, and each round started with 20 reps for traps, 25 reps for chest, 25 reps for quads, and so on, as you can see. Also, feel free to pause this video at any stage if you want to look at my routines for a bit longer. Now, what I did was try to target each muscle after I'd done a muscle further away from it. So, for example, I'd do an upper body exercise, then a lower body exercise, rather than doing upper body, upper body, or lower body, lower body. I just gave my muscles a bit more time to sort of relax and recover before I hit them again. Now, at the end of each round, I also did 10 reps for the whole body. It's just a good way to, you know, sort of tie up the um, end of the round, getting ready for the next one. Now, from the second week onwards, I changed from 10 rounds of 200 reps to 5 rounds of 400 reps. So, I halved the rounds but doubled the reps. And after the fifth day, my muscles started adapting more to the stress of the workouts so it made it easier to transition into the five rounds a day instead of 10. I also found it easier going for five rounds a day rather than 10, even though it's the same amount of reps, just cause it's more of a psychological thing. Now for my nutrition, I started off with 150 grams of white fish, plus as much spinach as I wanted twice a day. Now I wasn't really too sure how much spinach I would be having, so on the first day I had 280 grams, so one of those massive jumbo bags of spinach at dinner and then the next day I had green diarrhea twice so I cut back the spinach to 140 grams now I didn't really get much energy from this diet and it was pretty hard to do my workouts so after a few days of doing this I started adding two eggs and half an avocado to each meal as well and that helped out a bit more but then the spinach started getting hard to eat it was hard to eat raw that much and also I steamed it but then I just started getting all soggy and just a bit bland and I didn't really enjoy it that much. I wasn't really looking forward to eating it all. So this diet lasted for two weeks and then I decided to go keto which was probably the best decision I made during this challenge. I started looking forward to eating again and it spiked my interest in nutrition just because I've never done keto before, so it was a bit of a learning curve as well. But that's pretty much my nutrition for the whole 30 days. So for my sleeping routine, I had to wake up at 3.45 a.m. every morning, and I went to sleep at about 9.30. So I got roughly you know, six hours sleep every day, and I sort of just found it best that I woke up early so that I could get the majority of my workout done in the morning and then finish the rest of it after work at night rather than having to do a little bit in the morning and then smash it all out after work when I was all tired because I also had to bike one hour a day so that was 15 minutes to the gym, 15 minutes back, twice a day so I just had to try for everything in. So I also experimented a bit with lowest temperature showers during 30 days so the main benefit of lowest temperature showers is well you know when you have a really high temperature shower and it's all steamy and you jump out once you're done and you look in the mirror and you can't see anything? 
because it's all fogged up from the steam. Well, you don't have that problem with the lowest temperature shower. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just joking guys. So, the main benefits for me really was weight reduction. So having a lowest temperature shower actually activates brown fat, which generates energy by burning calories. The other main benefit for me was reduces inflammation. So it actually causes blood vessels to restrict, which can actually reduce any swelling you do have. So one thing that I'd say was sort of lacking or falling behind during the 30 days was my pull-ups. So on day eight, I overextended my right arm when I was doing a switch grip pull-up. And I continued with the routine for a couple of days, but my bicep was still really sore. So I decided I'd go to assisted pull-ups. And these were helping and my pain was sort of getting smaller and smaller every day. So on day 19, I went back to normal pull-ups, but my pain started coming back again. So I decided I'd go to pull downs and I'd really focus on contracting all my back muscles. And at the bottom of every rep, I'd hold it for three seconds before slowly releasing back up again. And this was good. But then on day 24, the gym's closed, so I couldn't even do pull downs anymore but I sort of did what I could to, to try to get my back up to scratch again. So I'm just gonna show you guys quickly my measurement chart. So it's just in centimeters, all the changes in my muscles uh, and weight over the course of the 30 days. So I'll let you guys pause this if you want, but as you can see, I have actually highlighted all the sort of major changes uh, throughout the 30 days and quite interesting actually the only thing that went up was my chest and everything else went down uh, especially the glutes the hips and the guts as you can see are all quite drastic also my weight was quite steady in decline and I actually ended up losing 5.7 kgs over the course of the 30 days so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far I've covered everything that I wanted to cover so comment your thoughts in the comment section below and comment if you would like me to cover my daily diary for 30 days in another video. Also don't forget to click that like button and subscribe so you can see more videos like this one. Enjoy the rest of the video guys.